Hello, Smart Bay community! In today's Smart Bay Talks, we will touch upon one of the most important parts of software testing – regression testing. I'm sure many of you know what a challenge it is to set up good performance testing, especially in the Agile world. Our today's guest will share his story of how he reinvented regression testing and what benefits he got afterward. Please meet Dory Zaharchev. Agile evangelist and heuristic testing fighter with more than 12 years of experience in automated manual and performance software testing. Hi, Smart Bay community. Please meet today Jory Zaharchev. Hi, Jory, how are you? Hi, Tatiana, I'm great. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Jory, you're a big fan of different testing processes. I watched several of your presentations and they were so exciting. First of all, thanks for joining us today to talk about regression testing. And uh, could you please start with a short introduction of yourself to the Smart Bay community? Yeah, sure. Um, so, as you said, I'm, my name is Jora Zaharchev. I'm uh, more than 12 years in the software testing uh, area. Uh, currently, I'm working at uh, Civas in Macedonia. Uh, it's actually a multinational company. Uh, I'm responsible for the uh, for the QA team here in Sivas. Uh, so I'm every day uh, during my, uh, my work time, I'm meeting with different uh, demands and different approaches of, of testing. Uh, so uh, in order to solve some of these things, I first need to understand and find a way how to improve them. So this is, uh, this is uh, the present, my presentation in SQA days that uh, that we're discussing, so the, how to improve the regression testing, first of all, and how to speed up the process in an agile um, era. So that's about me. Okay, yeah, I knew that I chose the right person to talk about regression testing, first of all. Um, if, we start, if we're talking about regression testing, let's give some short overview of uh, how do you use, how do you set up it in your company? Yeah, because um, as I mentioned, we are a very huge company and we have so many projects, so many different approaches. Uh, so we are trying to find the most suitable and the most, um, uh, the, maybe the best way, the, not the best, but the most useful way of doing regression testing for a particular project. Um, majority of the projects, uh, we are trying to implement this um, regression testing heuristic. It's called RC, RC, RC which stands for Recent Core Risky Configuration Repair to Chronic. Because we don't have a lot of time to do the regression testing. We have weekly or two uh, weekly releases. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are trying to speed up this process uh, by, um, uh, by uh, adding all of our tests in uh, some criteria based on these heuristics, dividing into six groups. Uh, these uh, six groups uh, can be also divided into two subgroups or two major groups, maybe uh, dynamic and static tests. So, what is dynamic? Actually, uh, not uh, by the definition static, but something that is uh, constantly uh, tested during all the releases, uh -huh. during all the re releases, and something that is dynamically changed every sprint uh, that is dependent upon the sprint uh, release. Uh huh. Okay, and as far as I understand, you are using different uh, methodology methodologies uh, in uh, your company. So yeah. we are doing regression testing is much difficult uh, in uh, agile waterfall or even in uh, agile fall. <laughs> yeah, so uh, regression testing um, maybe to say it's the very difficult to be done in the agile world. Uh, why? Because uh, we are getting late deliveries. We don't have enough time to do the testing. Uh, so um, this is the challenge in the, the waterfall. Uh, it's pretty easy because you have dedicated time to do the regression testing. You have all the resources available. You have everything that you need. But agile is more uh, demanding. Um, uh, the, the water scrum fall, uh, we are trying to avoid it. So we are we're trying to do something like more doing the, the scrum, Kanban, scrum, bun. So these are the approaches. And because we have very limited uh, time, we don't have enough time to do the regression testing, we need to find a better way and a faster way. Mm -hmm. So our faster way before starting with automation, starting with uh, defining um, well-defined criteria for regression testing. So this is the most important part. Because even 
when we do the automation uh, part, um, we cannot run thousands and thousands of tests. We are, again, limited of, uh, of infrastructure where to run these tests. So we are uh, first trying to, uh, uh, to define what we are going to regression test and then uh, approaching uh, with uh, automation of that. Uh -huh, okay. And uh, at SQA Days, which you mentioned, actually, my colleagues, uh, mm -hmm. they were at uh, that conference. Uh, they were so excited after your speech. Um, you declared that uh, you reinvented regression testing. What is the purpose and uh, what uh, did you change in, your, in the yeah. process? Mm -hmm. So basically, um, when I came to, uh, to this company, uh, the, the process of doing the regression testing was um, using the technique retest all because there are several techniques, mm -hmm. uh, even test case prioritization and um, um, was not that, that much used. So it was, uh, it was used retest all. People usually uh, tested, uh, um, let's say, uh, uh, some areas of, uh, of the application that are not impacted at all, areas of the application that are not important at all. Uh, so the reinvention was how to, uh, first of all, and that was uh, taking uh, more than five days sometimes. So if you have uh, two week sprints, people were behind in the next sprint uh, doing the regression testing. So my part of reinventing the process was um, uh, inventing a criteria for um, test case prioritization. So what we need to prioritize. Uh, and this this was the the reinvented process. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if you have that, if you uh, can achieve that, then it means instead of running tests uh, days and days, you can uh, you can limit your test to very um, reasonable number of, of tests that can be uh, run even manually in several hours instead of uh, days or weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, and uh, is it difficult to cre create such criteria? Uh, so basically, um, uh, the criteria, it looks very general, uh, but uh, doesn't mean that need to be general. Uh, in the today's world, in the today's demanding world, we have different kinds of applications, web applications, mobile applications. At some stage, you know, for example, when we are working for uh, projects for some startups, uh, some area uh, of the uh, of the applications doesn't um, doesn't fulfill the same the same criteria for uh, for example core functionalities because at first place um, these startups are focusing on the user interface so it's uh, pretty easy first of all you need to know the project you need to know the application the system mm -hmm. and if you know this um, uh, uh, if you know the application and if you know uh, what is the plan? It's pretty easy to uh, to group everything into um, six criteria, into group to six areas, which will uh, later on be changed. As I mentioned, three of them will be uh, constantly changed every sprint. So, uh, because uh, we have a lot of people who are beginners, it was also pretty easy for them. It was better for them to uh, to define this criteria instead of retesting all, which was. Uh, time consuming. So we have um, great experience with people who are not that much experienced in, in software testing and especially not in regression testing. Okay, it's, it's, it's interesting. Uh, and uh, what benefits uh, did you get? How can you evaluate uh, these improvements? So yeah, the, the benefit first of all is that we can achieve the regression testing in several hours because usually uh, we were postponing uh, the regression testing for the next sprint while developers um, were doing the uh, while well, developers were, were doing the uh, the development for the next sprint. Uh, people were uh, moving the regression testing into this sprint, which was. Uh, um, pretty problematic because people were not attending to the planning meetings they didn't not attend to the daily meetings so they they were losing um, they were losing information uh, crucial information um, uh, from uh, from the details of the requirements uh, the second uh, the second thing of the reducing the time uh, helped because we can um, do a better testing um, during the entire period we can do the better uh, regular testing uh, of the product uh, so we can improve the quality even more. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. And because we were finding uh, in the regression testing, because the, the previous testing was not done uh, on a high quality, uh, we were finding a lot of defects during the regression phase. And sometimes the regression needed to be repeated. So if you're doing the regression testing for five days and you need to repeat majority of the tests, it means that you need to run several more days now. It's everything reduced to several hours. So if you run the same test, for example, you're running uh, the regular regression in four hours mm -hmm. and you need to repeat, you can even repeat the entire regression testing. And even um, when you're running manually everything in four, four hours, when that will be automated, uh, it's a little bit for a, uh, a little bit faster. So you can, you can achieve uh, faster results. And when you're achieving faster results, you can run your regression testing on daily basis because uh, today it's, um, it's pretty agile, it's pretty uh, fast and demanding the deployment. So in, in testing environments, we have deployments several times per day. So we can allow now to run the, uh, the automated regression test several times uh, after every deployment, we can run also the, the, the regression test. Mm -hmm. So if we have uh, automated tests uh, uh, on that point, if we have uh, automated tests, there is no need to run the manual testing maybe for some specific cases that cannot be automated or it's very difficult or very expensive to be automated. So um, we're reducing the time for the regression completely from going manual uh, to going uh, maybe some percentage more than 80% automate. That sounds very reasonable. Yeah, I like it. Uh, thanks a lot. A very interesting approach. Uh, SmartBay community, it's, it will be interesting to learn your opinion and about uh, this approach. So please leave your comments uh, or maybe even ask questions, additional questions to Jer. We will continue talking about this approach in comments. Thanks. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Jer. Thank you. Bye. Bye.